Hey, it's a ZM update video, not gonna waste your time. Hello, YouTubers. Zeldrax Millennium here. Yeah, it's been a while since my last video. Right now, my eyeballs are sweating. I hate when my eyeballs freaking sweat. Ugh. Yeah, it's hot in Oregon right now. It's about. It was about 107 degrees. Last I checked. I don't know how hot it is right now. I got the fans on, hence why the audio quality might be shit right now. So yeah, um okay, let's let's try and do updates because I don't want to make this video very long. I actually saw TMNT out of the shadows on Saturday last week. It was actually a decent movie. A lot better than the last one, I can tell you that much. Megan Fox, oh, honey, you're trying. You're very damn trying, but you're still not a good April O'Neil. And Stephen Amell, oh my, oh my god, Stephen Amell. You're getting flack for shit on Arrow, and you turn out a subpar Casey Jones. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. But I will say Bebop and Rocksteady look decent, and Shredder looked pretty cool. It's just that he never got to fight the turtles again. Might want to fix that by movie number three. I hope. Anyway, um, on that same day with um, Team and T out of the shadows, I actually went to the big boy swamp meet, and they had this guy around there. Energon Megatron. Yeah, I was not expecting to find this guy there. I also got a little uh, Mystic Force toy that was like $4. It's, it's really kind of cool. I'll try and pull up a picture later on. But yeah, another, another neat thing with this is that I had enough money, but I needed to save I needed to save my money for the movie. Because I didn't know how much money I would need for the movie itself. Luckily, I was able to get like a, a, free, a free small popcorn and a free small drink. Because of my movie reward point card. And so, one guy who I was talking with while I was, while I was at the Big Boy Spot Meet, he actually bought this for me, which is really freaking cool. Yeah, I did actually just um, repaint the Decepticon symbol and the face. I also gave him a, a, a black line for his mouth because if I didn't, you know, I wouldn't be able to see his mouth right now. So yeah, I might panel line Megatron a little bit. I might actually get him a whole uh, re I might actually get him a whole new paint job. Do do with some of this. You know it's hard for me to talk because I'm fumbling out my lines. It's really freaking hot. So yeah, Energon Megatron. I got him. Probably not going to do a review on him. You can probably check it out on uh, TGI Mega's channel. Now I did get a package today, but. I already opened it, so the surprise is already gone, but you guys will still be able to see what I what I did get. And it's kind of a neat thing. Let me get the box. Uh, straight from Amazon itself. And yes, I did hear about um, Season 2 of Coming Under Amazons, and I am hoping... That when season two of season two of Amazon's drops and finishes, me and Des Shinta are actually considering collabing on a review of Amazon's. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I still need to get into season four of my review show before I do that. Anyway, box. A user on Toku Nation by the name of well, uh, that. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember the name, so... That guy... He actually commissioned me... For the... Uh, DX Zhuodra Mecha... And wants me to turn them into black and gold variants. So that's freaking cool. So yeah, well, the main six are here. Um, Cube Elephant, Cube Mega... Cube Gorilla, 
And of course the main guy himself. Juo King. These are really small boxes. I was like, one of the one of the things I hope is that when Juo Drake gets adapted, Bandai Mega just imports these. They're small enough. They probably didn't cost that much to make. And they're probably easy to just directly import the damn things. Because they're just that fucking small. But yeah, I am very much looking forward to uh, making black and blue variants of all these guys. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is Alltrax Millennium saying goodnight and good luck. Latest.